Hi all, how are you doing? Hope you're doing great wherever you are in the world. So I thought I'd do kind of a new feature, see how long we can uh, keep this going. I'm going to do something called Hand of the Week. So many sort of YouTube channels sort of do a Hand of the Week. So I thought I'd feature a hand from Berry Athenaeum, uh, 20th of November, 2023. So Monday afternoon pairs. I thought I'd start with this one because it's a grand slam. So it's a good one to uh, kick off with, I guess. Now, if you've got an interesting hand that you want to share with me, that you'd like to feature, like me to feature on Hand of the Week, then contact me through my About Us page on the YouTube channel. All right. And then uh, send me a link so, you know, uh, then I can have a look at it myself and feature it like this. So we've got the hand up. It's hand 14. Um, now, so East is going to pass. South is going to open the bidding one diamond, most likely. At Berry, people tend to play a weak no trump on the whole. So you're going to open one diamond. North is going to respond one heart, and East will pass. And then South has got a choice of bids. So South could uh, bid three diamonds, which would show a six-card diamond suit um, and decent points, which you have. But what I'd say about the three diamond bid is the diamond suit isn't very good. So rather than respond three diamonds, you might be better off because you've also got shortage in hearts, so you're not really interested in playing in hearts and you've got sort of uh, stuff in spades and clubs. Rather than bidding three diamonds, you might want to respond uh, in no trumps instead. Okay, so now you've got a choice. You've got a 16 count. So how do you evaluate this hand? Now, if you go on Richard Pavlicek's um, website, rpbridge.net, okay, and there are some bridge uh, calculators. So if you go on this one here, bridge, Bridge hand evaluator. Okay. And then you put in the hand. Okay. So we're going to get some information back here. So it's uh so it's any card higher than an eight, you'd put in, but anything lower than an eight, you just put as an X. So we've got Queen 6 3. All right. We've got King 6 and Ace 10 9. Okay. King, I'll put I'll put in here, right? Ace 10, 9, X, 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 Ace, King. Okay, and then you just click Evaluate. Oh, unrecognized card. What have I done? Oh, I put a 1. Right, there we go. Evaluate. All right, so here we go. So we've got a lot of information back. High card points, that kind of thing. Now, what I tend to look at is um, the Kaplan Rubens. Okay, so if you put in, if you have a look here in this column here, oops, it's not going to let me choose a column, is it? So this number here. So if you go off that, then that's a good uh, a good valuation. So you've got different sort of valuation. You've got tr true points, stuff like that. Other things, Zar points, Bissell points, Carpin points. Uh, some of these I've never even heard of, okay? Carping points and Bissell points, never heard of them. But Kaplan Rubens, so we're assessing our hand as 17.6, okay? So it's roughly kind of 18, I guess. Now, 10, 16, so we're sort of saying it's 17.6. Now, one no trump, a lot of people will bid with 15 to 16 points. So this is the old school style. So if you bid one no trump, you're showing 15 to 16 points. And if you bid two no trumps, you're showing 17 to 18 points. And if you bid three no trumps, you're showing 19 points. That's an old school method of doing, um, of playing it. So you might play that. Now, if you play that, you're going to return a bid of two no trumps. You're going to upgrade this to 17.6, so 18 kind of points. So you're going to bid two no trumps if you bid that. And also, I'd say that if you're playing new methods, which are one no trump would show 15 to 17 and two no trump showing 18 to 19. So instead of bidding one no trump with this hand, you could bid two no trumps with this hand showing 17, uh, 18, 19. So whatever method you're going to sh show, um, you, north now with 20 points, so 8, 10, 14, 17, 20 points. Uh, knows this hand's got like more than 17 points. So you've got a combined asset of 37 points. So you could, after this no trump rebid, now just bid seven no trumps. 
Okay. So you just bid straight to seven no trumps. And we're in it, seven no trumps. So the bidding uh, just shows the final bid here. It doesn't show how the bidding actually went. So you're in seven no trumps and you've, you've got to make seven no trumps. And South is on, uh, is uh, declaring. And what do we get? What lead do we get here? Seven no trumps, two of clubs. Oh, right. So the bidding obviously didn't go like that because here uh, North is playing it out. Okay, North is playing it out. No. So obviously it's gone three diamonds and maybe seven no trumps. So one diamond, one heart, three diamonds, seven no trumps, I guess, something like that. Um, who knows? Okay, who knows? Well, let's go with, well, let's go with uh, this anyway. Play. So it's by North. So they've led the two of clubs, really. Let's lead the fourth highest, all right? So we lead a club. All right. So we're going to do that first of all. Let's have a let's let's take stock of how many tricks we got. So we've got three club tricks. We've got two diamond tricks. That's five. We've got three heart tricks. That's eight. And we've got four spade tricks. That's twelve. So we've got twelve certain tricks. So any of those, any people who only got to six no trumps, which is possible if you sort of devalued your hand and made it as a one no trump bid, okay, and, and maybe you're a bit timid, okay, and you only get to six no trumps. So you've always got uh, 12 tricks regardless. So you're not going to give up any tricks to uh, uh, get any count or anything like that or some sort of safety play. You've got 12 tricks. So... You're going to play this the same way whether you're in six no trumps, seven no trumps, or some people got to just only three no trumps, which thankfully nobody did, okay? So you, you're going to play this for 13 tricks. You got, you, you've got 12 tricks for sure. You're going to try and make 13 tricks. So how do you play this out? Um, well, the hearts, if they break 3-3, three, three, you've always got 13 tricks. But you want to leave them to the end, okay? And you want to leave them to the end because you don't really want to show show up that um, you've got this five-card heart suit. You might only have a four-card heart suit. So you don't want to show that up. So we want to kind of play all our cards out and also give our chance of actually uh, a squeeze play as well, okay? There's a potential for a squeeze. If someone has got four hearts and the queen jack of diamonds... We can squeeze them. Okay, so let's just play off our top tricks. And uh, we're going to keep this King of Hearts as an entry at the end. So we're going to play our Diamond. Uh, I can play the Eight. Okay, we can play the Queen of Clubs. Chuck of Diamond. All right, and we can play out all the Spades. So there's a certain order that you should play them in. And this is the order. Now, at this point, West is actually squeezed, okay? They can't keep four hearts and they can't keep the Queen Jack of Diamonds. So they're probably gonna get let go of a heart at this point and kind of hope for the best. Because all South has to do, so all North has to do when they're declaring, is keep an eye on the Queen and Jack of Diamonds. So here we're going to let go of a heart. Okay, and now play a heart to the King. Now South, what you should play now is the Ace of Diamonds. And all you're looking for is the Queen and Jack of Diamonds. Okay. So this is what's known as a simple squeeze because all you're doing is playing the top cards and just looking out for cards. Okay, so you play the Ace of Diamonds and you see if the Queen of Diamonds pops up. Okay, so now we've, we haven't seen the Queen of Diamonds. So we know we can't play another diamond now. So now it's just a matter of just playing the hearts and hoping that they were breaking 3-3. Three, three. Now, as it turns out, West was squeezed. Okay, and you're going to make the rest of the tricks because they had to throw the hearts. Okay, so you play all your hearts and you kind of hope that the eight of hearts is going to be a winner at the end. And it is because West was squeezed. 
seconds. So you don't really have to know if somebody was squeezed or not. You just play them in that order anyway. So that is kind of the beauty of that squeeze. And that's why it's called a simple squeeze, because you don't really have to sort of do anything clever. You're just playing the top cards. Okay, that's why it's called a simple squeeze. So all you have to do is just look out for a particular card. Now, sometimes it could be one card that you're looking for, a queen or a king. You're just looking out for that. And if it comes up, then you can play that one suit. And if it doesn't, then you have to go back to the other suit. Okay, so here we were just looking out to see if the queen or jack appeared. And when they, when they don't appear, you just continue playing all the hearts out from the top. Cross your fingers and hope that the eight of hearts is a winner at the end of it. Okay. That's all you need to do. Okay. So that was hand of the week. Uh, seven no trumps, a grand slam um, featuring a simple squeeze. Let me know if you've got any uh, hands you'd like me to feature uh, next week. Okay.